In an update provided in the National Assembly sitting of 2nd August 2024, Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew said fixing the Citizenship by Investment program was important to secure its future integrity. In spite of challenges that might be ahead, the Prime Minister indicated that the changes that have been made to the program provide the foundation for a sustainable program. He warned there will be tighter monitoring of the program against abuse, saying the laws of St. Kitts and Nevis will apply, even as a review is being undertaken. And Madam Speaker, I want to say that we are doing our own review. And anyone who we find is in contravention to our laws, our laws will apply. And so we want to, warn, we want to of course, warn against underselling. We want to warn against doing anything contrary to the laws. Because where we find those things, action will have to be taken, Madam Speaker. We are a country of laws, and we have to respect the laws, Madam Speaker. The laws must be respected and must be abided by, Madam Speaker. And so, I wanted to highlight that, to say that St. Kitts and Nevis is serious about the integrity of our CBI program. And anybody who violates that, as we continue to make sure that we evaluate our CBI program, action will be taken, Madam Speaker. The other matter, Madam Speaker, that we want to say as we move forward is that with the CBI program and with it being a statutory body, it gives, us, gives it a good opportunity to really function as a very efficient um, um, corporation following very good principles of practicing business, making sure that due diligence and all of these things are well abided by. Madam Speaker, I want to say that we have also set up the continued due diligence unit, which is to be set up just now, I think by the end of this month. We'll be the only country to have a unit like that. Because we are saying to people, if you were to get our citizenship through the CBI program, we are saying that we must continue to monitor to make sure that you are not misusing and abusing our citizenship. Meanwhile, the government's economic policy calls for greater diversification of the economy to significantly reduce the over-dependency on citizenship by investment. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.